Today I'm going to review Shooting Messengers by Kevin Berry. Uh, this is a, um, a crime noir style. It's a fairly short book, quick read for someone who's a fast reader like me, and really entertaining. So it's a fairly lightweight kind of crime mystery. Nice characters and has a kind of a, a quirky sort of feel to it. It's well written and two main characters, man and a woman, who have a kind of an ambivalent relationship to start with, but of course throughout it develops into something um, with some more potential. Now this is the first in a series called The Quake City Investigations and I'm going to be reading more because it's kind of like well you know when you're just like ah oh, you know I just want a good book to read and I don't want anything too kind of nasty nothing that's going to really keep me up at night and you know something that's going to keep me wanting to read you know I think this guy Kim Berry is a trustworthy author someone that you can just keep popping back to. It's about a bunch of murders that happen to postmen and other people that deliver messages. And there's no clues to start off with. And the way that they actually manage in the end to solve this is, is really quite intriguing. So the main character is a private investigator and he teams up with a, a journalist who wants to get the scoop on what's happening uh, so that she can, you know, earn some good money and give a deeper angle to the story about the murders. And first of all, it's like he doesn't really want to take him along, but he doesn't have uh, a lot of business and he needs some money. And she's saying, well, I'll give you half of uh, what I get for the articles. So that's how it begins. One of the delightful things about this book for anybody who has lived in Christchurch in New Zealand is how he's turned it into Quake City. So he's changed, you know, well-known places like Kashmir into Crashmere <laughs> and other twists on the names so that everything that's um, all, all the street names have this relationship to earthquakes, to quaking or falling apart. And part of the charm of this story, of the setting in Quake City, which is why they're the Quake City Investigations, um, is the setting in this quake-ridden city. So you're reading along and you find that He's driving along and they're having to avoid the potholes and um, the raised bits in the roads and, and there's a shake, you know, there's another aftershock and you get a sense of how people live in this kind of situation. Right? And there's this sort of everybody's fled, you know, people have left the city so that the chief inspector who's left is not very skilled which of course gives the private investigator a chance to actually solve the case because the police are somewhat incompetent. Now, whether it's a realistic comment on the state of Christchurch today, I don't know. Um, and I expect this one was written closer to the earthquakes. But for me, because I lived in Christchurch for five years, um, I just found that quite delightful. So, uh, Quake City Investigations, I should be reading more of them. and. Um, yeah, I like I recommend that you take a look. Uh, I definitely give it five stars out of five stars. That's it for today.